Shalom. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Baka Ha Kadash. Secondly, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone that teach in that Ruel today. <clears throat> and salutation also to the fellow laborers, okay, that's in the ministry. And the believers that scatter worldwide, that's in the faith, and is on the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Raka, Ha Chodash, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. Um, so once again, I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands Branch, coming at you with another lesson. And as before I get into my lesson, this message or these videos goes out to you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans, which we are the true Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, by the seed of thy father, starting with the elect, which were considered the 144,000 and the one third that's destined to be saved. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick video straight to the point, going into how when it comes to this word, okay, courtesy to the Internet. Okay, and also by the way of the uh, uh, the ministry, the street ministry on the highways and byways. Okay, but you know mainly this word being pushed on the internet as the likes of on um, YouTube and other outlets. Okay, that this word, this truth. Okay, is you know ranking supreme now. Okay, because you know for all these you know years. Okay, um, which we know here at Great Millstone and those that waking up to knowing that they Israelites. Okay, coming back to their inheritance. Okay, we know that you know throughout all these you know centuries or years, we was taught lies. Okay, when it comes to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, which I say so-called due to those false identities that was labor upon us when it comes to our enemy. Okay, and the, and the scriptures say that the nation of Israel will have enemy enemies, and that starting with the nation of uh, the so-called white race, which are the biblical Edomites, okay, which is known as the wicked, the deceiver, okay, because throughout years of uh, uh, history, ever since the time of the, the um, Renaissance or the rebirth, okay, and, you know, since they came back into power, okay, um, they had pushed lies, okay, mainly through these false doctrines, okay, when it comes to Christianity, Claiming that who the world called Christ, okay, it's a so-called white man. God is a so-called white man, okay, who the world calls God. That, you know, they, that they push that, you know, through Christianity, all nations can be saved, okay. Which all that is, you know, contrary to the, the true understanding of the Bible, okay. And other different religions they set up and push. They have mainly our people snare in, okay, the word snare means, you know, trap, Okay, different other religions besides Christianity as Islam, okay, Roman Catholicism, Egyptology, okay, Kemet, okay. But now that we're in the time of Yahweh Bashmi al through the Spirit, okay, raising up the Israelites, okay, um, the Lord is speaking through his prophets, you know, and so much information coming out, and the Lord set up the prophets to you know, when it comes to certain current events or history, you know, extrapolating through the scriptures to, you know, to go out there and teach, okay, and give, you know, the understanding, okay? You know, like I said, we're going in the time, we're coming in the time of everything is being revealed, okay, of who the Israelites are, who the, the Edomites are, okay, the other nations, okay, which these are uh, heathens, okay, and eventually they're going to go into captivity, Okay, after the destruction of America, okay, which this place is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire at the peak of the Third World War, okay, mainly by the hands of uh, Russia and all those that got nuclear capability that the spirit put the, that the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, okay, allowed to, okay, and at that same time, we're coming in the time of Yahweh Shai's second coming, okay, when it comes to what the world call so called UFOs, which are the chariots. Okay, the vehicles of the angels and the salvation of the elect of um, Israel. 
So all that's being revealed, man. Okay? You know, everything is being revealed when it comes to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And only the elect is going to understand. Although, you know, this word is being preached worldwide. And, you know, and it's only for Israel. But we come to the understanding two-thirds, according to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, is not going to receive it. Okay? And uh, um, a precept to that as well is Romans 11 and 7. How the elect should have attained the understanding of the truth and the rest was blinded. Okay? So us that since us that has been calling the faith and eventually hoping hopefully that we're uh, chosen of the elect we have the understanding of the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man okay and this word 100% truth okay the gospel which means good news is being spread and that's what's leading to the the, the time of prophecy of uh, 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 chaos man okay so I'm gonna get into the scriptures and I'm gonna start off with Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 1 Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. And the Lord is doing that, by the way, uh, the, through the Spirit, okay, by waking up the prophets. Okay, the Lord is speaking, okay, by the way of the prophets. Okay, let me get this real quick. Well, that's Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied vision, visions and used supplitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So that's how Yahweh Bashim shall speak to the nations. Okay? By the way of the prophets. Let me get another one. But in Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah chapter, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest from out of, thy, out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee to be a prophet unto the nations. Okay, so the Lord set up the prophets. And he always you know, dealt with the prophets when you, you know, when you understand the scriptures. But most definitely in this time, as the Lord is uh, reawakening, Awakening the uh, uh, the nation of Israel start with the elect, okay. Start with the prophets, man. They have the understanding of the truth, okay. The, the true prophets that the Lord set up and that ordained to go out there and teach. Cause you have false prophets amongst Israel as well, but the Lord set up the true prophets to go and teach and give warning of what's to come, okay, to all nations, okay. But salvation is only for the nation of Israel starting with the elect. Okay, so that was Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. So the Lord ordained the prophets to speak his word. Let me go back to Deuteronomy. Chapter 20, um, chapter 32, verse 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. And once again, the words that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is speaking. Okay, is ordained by the way of, of the prophets. Verse 2, my doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the um the grass. So that's a similar to we just now read similitudes, okay, that the Lord used for the prophets to give the understanding of the scriptures in Hosea chapter 12, verse 10. Okay, so this is a similar to when it comes to the Lord's doctrine. Okay, that is uh, being spread worldwide. And you have camps raising up worldwide because you have Israelites scattered worldwide. Okay, but mainly here in America where this truth have extended from. Okay, and now you have camps worldwide pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, that now when it comes to the, you know, soon to be, once Yahweh Shai return and, pro and, and proclaim and, pro and fulfill prophecy, Okay, that you know all the world gonna know eventually that Yahweh Bashim Al Shah has sent prophets, man, and the elect eventually gonna know. Okay, that's gonna lead to salvation and the downfall, man, of these nations when once Yahweh Shah return. So let me get this, cause now you're seeing the exposure of uh, Esau Edom and their lies, man, through they you know sis they system, 
democracy okay the public school system okay the um when it comes to the colleges okay when it comes to their history okay when it comes to the whitewashing econoclasm okay their you know their agenda the nwo everything's being exposed when it comes to esau edom okay how they want to uh implement the rfid microchip which is known as the mark of the beast in revelation chapter 13 verse 16 how everything is geared towards a, a Catholic society, okay, a digital currency, okay, these elites agenda, okay, when it comes to certain events that they, you know, done, you know, already had planned, okay, so everything is being revealed, man, and eventually the truth is going to stand, okay, which is the will of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So let me get this with that second address, six, <clears throat> and verse on. Um, Second Edges chapter six verse twenty seven, for evil shall be put out and the seat shall be quenched. Okay, and that's the time we coming into. We coming into the time of Yahweh, by Shemuel Shai about to set up righteousness. Okay, which is the nation of Israel, the kingdom of Israel, and Esau Edom being put out of power, man, taken out of power. But it start with the the truth. Okay, and the Israelites re reawakening. Okay, and Esau Edom being exposed. Okay, that's what's leading to the downfall of Esau Edom. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Okay, starting with the elect. Okay, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So now we're coming in the time of the truth being declared, man. Ever since, you know, our apostles and elders going into the history of the time of One West, Okay, during the time of uh, Abba, uh, Rabbi, well, Abba, uh, Rabbi Abba Bibbins, okay, um, Cain Masha, High Priest uh, Arya, okay, uh, High Priest Yaqua, you know, and the, you know, the One West, in the time of our apostles being there, and the current time now where you have camps worldwide pushing the word of Yahweh Shem Shai, once again, Curtis, to the internet, okay, so the truth is being declared man okay which was hidden okay because it, it wasn't like it never wasn't there it was just hidden as we fell from our heritage going into the captivity on these other nations primarily here in america and that was prophecy okay which is you know history now which we still in current captivity up under the edomites <clears throat> due to um our disobedience and that you how about shimao shah put the curses on us because we broke the law of statute commandments as a nation that's why we in captivity here in america and has been scattered worldwide okay and, and that we're not in our land and we fell from our inheritance and that these devils don't lie to the point that you know throughout the process of time that they took the land unto themselves doing the, you know 48 i say it like that okay those that in the know and those that you know following along here at great millstone okay we go into the 48ers we know who are those people Okay, those phonies that occupy our land. But that's all due to the curses that we fell for our inheritance. Okay, and our enemies pursuing us and overtaking us, man. Start with the Edomites, man. Okay, but now the truth has been declared. Okay. And that's once that's, once again, that's going to the time now as the internet. Okay. So let me see. Um, you no, know, so basically that's that's it. And once again, man, because, you know, we're coming in the time of prophecy, okay? You know, we're coming into the time of the coming destruction of America, okay? The Third World War, the implementation of the RFID micro, civil unrest, economy crash, okay? All that's part of biblical prophecy, man, okay? And us of the hopeful elect, we have that understanding through the blessing of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, okay? So now the truth is being declared, man, okay? And these Edomites, man, starting with their elites, they front it. They in front it mode. Revelation twelve and twelve going to how that they know have they know that they have a short time left. Okay, so therefore they're gonna come down with great wrath. Okay, and that's gonna be part of the wrath for Yahweh Bashim Shah. Because part of the truth as well, Yahweh Bashim Shah control all things, okay? Both good and evil. Okay, and the evil that's about to come, the Lord's gonna allow that through the different plagues. Okay, and also by the way of Esau Edom. Okay, as you want to bring that sword, man, through, you know, martial law, okay, you know, through draconian measures, the MOTB being implemented, 
that's all the will of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. But the elect is going to be uh, um, shielded and guided from that, man. Okay, even if it have to be, you know, martyrs. And the ones that die in the faith, they're going to be the first ones, you know, risen up when it comes to salvation. Right along with the rest of the elect that's being remained. When Yahweh Shah come with the chariots at that time, okay, to deliver the elect, okay, by beaming the elect up, okay, from out of the destruction, okay. Uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, verses 29 through 31, going to that, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson be edifying. Until next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.